Today I am going to solve activity 2.9 in which you have to select one out of five options. Uh, the first one is this. What is meant by the term ciphertext when used in encryption? Uh, you can see it from your book that ciphertext is a type of text uh, which has the encryption algorithm applied on it. You can see from the diagram that when an encryption key is added to plain text, it becomes ciphered text which is sent on, uh, through the internet. And uh, when someone decrypts, when someone decrypts that message, that is again turned into plain text. Uh, so out of the five options given in part A, last option is the correct option. That text following an encryption algorithm is known as ciphertext. You can see it from uh, here also. Now the next question. Part B. When carrying out an asymmetric encryption, which of the following users would keep the private key? As you can see it from your text that the uh, private key is only with the receiver of the message. If the person who is receiving, you can see this from this arrow that Jane is receiving the message. So the private key is only with the receiver of the message. So uh, in question in question number B, part B is the correct option. You can see it from here also. Now, uh, now let's uh, move on to uh, question number C. In encryption, which of the following is the term used to describe the message before it is encrypted? Uh, as I have already shown you through the diagram of ciphertext, that plain text is a text on which no formula is already applied. You can see it from here also. The answer of C is B. Now let's move on to part B. Which of the following is the biggest disadvantage of using symmetric encryption? Symmetric encryption only comprises of public key. Uh, and asymmetric encryption uh, makes use of private key as well. So as there is no private key in symmetric encryption, there is a chance that that data might get intercepted on the way. And so this is the answer that there is a security problem when transmitting the encryption key. So the answer of part D is E. You can see that there is a security problem when transmitting the, when transmitting the encryption key. Now let's move on to the next question. Which of the following is the correct name for, uh, for a form of encryption in which both sender and recipient use the same key to encrypt and decrypt the data? When, the, when both the sender and recipient use the same key, you can see it from the text that when both sender and receiver use the same key, that form of encryption is called the symmetric encryption because, because they use the same key. Uh, uh, in, uh, in case of A, uh, symmetric encryption, the uh, private key is only with the receiver of the message. So they do not have the same keys. Receiver of the message has both the keys and the sender only has the public key. So the number of keys of sender and receiver are not the same in asymmetric encryption. So same key is only in case of symmetric encryption. So for part E, A is the, best, is the correct option. Now let's move on to part F. Uh, which of the following is the final number in a code which is calculated from all the numbers in the code? Its purpose is to find errors in data entry. As you have seen this in your book, that check digit is a final key that is added. We had discussed two methods of check adding check digits. One was ISBN 13 and the other one uh, was uh, modulo 11 so uh, when you add a final key to a um, number uh, then the method method that is the, then the method that is used is known as check digit the answer of question number f is check digit and you can see it from here also now let's move on to part g in part g you have been asked which of the following is a form or is a form of error detection that makes use of a system of acknowledgements and time out. Uh, as you can see it from your book that ARQ is the method 
that uses acknowledgements and time out um, because um, it also makes use of time and it also makes use 